I've had lots of trouble with my 12 volt battery so one of the things you can do is connect a monitor to it and there's this one which someone recommended to me um, battery monitor 2 by quick links it works with Bluetooth 4 which means that as long as your phone is in range you get updates on your phone and it will log the battery status all that sort of stuff and it draws very little power so you don't have to worry about the 12 volt depleting too much so this is my new toy and I'm going to plug it in now and see how it works the first mission of course is trying to get it out of this packet I absolutely hate packets like this Okay, and we're in. So here it is, here's a little device. Obviously we've got to connect the red to positive over there and the black to negative over there. So it's just a case of undoing this. Okay, now we'll do the same for negative. Now once installed, you probably find that the cap doesn't close on there and I can't, and because that, that is flush all the way down. I can't see a way of attaching it where well, that's not going to happen. So I'm hoping that the bonnet doesn't snap that off or anything. Um, I think it might if it's like that. But uh, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be okay. Now there's a QR code that you need to scan to get the app. And it's called Battery Monitor BM2. So once you've got that, let's open it. Yes, allow while using the app. Yes, use Bluetooth, please. Yes, notifications. And then it's connected. Battery okay, so it's working already. That's actually one of the easiest products I've ever known to get working. <laughs> you don't have to do anything else. That's pretty fantastic, I think. Let's do some tests. I'm just sat in the car normally, but the, I want to say engine is on. It's not an engine, is it, of course, but the car is on, it's in ready mode and it says charging and you can see that the voltage is nice and high so let's turn it off and you can see the voltage has dropped quite low so now I'm going to turn it on but I'm not going to have the foot on the brake so this is going to turn on the car but it's going to be using the 12 volt battery So now I've got the the uh, screen on and um, the lights. Not the lights aren't on at the moment, but this is now consuming power from the 12 volt battery, and uh, we should start to see it going down a little bit there. Now at the moment it's saying battery okay, so that's a good sign. But I'll be logging this for well from now on, so we'll see what happens to it over the next few days. Okay, well now let's try charging test. Now it charges the moment I turn on the car and it's in ready mode. So I'm going to press test again, start testing, and now turn it on. Start testing. And it comes up with this thing, high RPM test, where you don't have revs per minute on an electric car. so. You can kind of ignore that bit. Now there it says low charging system voltage. Now I don't know if that's anything to worry about. It might not be. But with an app like this at least you have, you can test it as much as you want and you can see if there is an issue with the car or whatever. Let's go test again. And yes, it calls, you know, it talks about the alternator. We don't have an alternator. Okay, so charging volta voltage in idle speed is okay. Voltage in high RPM, well, we don't have to worry about that because it's irrelevant, it's an electric car. As you can see, it's really good. Now, it gives you, uh, these are all the different things it says that it does. You receive a notification, this is, I'm just reading the label. You receive a notification of battery conditions when, uh, when you're within Bluetooth range. You can um, check the vehicle cranking system automatically, check charging system, list the time of each driving, alert the mobile phone if some data is abnormal. 
it's got short circuit and re reverse connection protection. In other words, if you happen to put a negative to positive and positive to neg negative, it won't blow up. Um, the data is stored in the monitor for up to 31 days if out of sync, that's really good. Um, it's compatible with all 12 volt batteries, you've got historical data, um, and there's a free app for iOS and Android. And obviously I've got iOS, but it's good to know that it works on both. Great little system, and I'm really glad I saw someone talking about it, and uh, I saw it on the, the Kia e-Nero UK, UK interest group on Facebook, which um, I am uh, an admin on. So you get lots of really useful information like that because everyone on there is far more knowledgeable than me. So I called up my local dealer uh, because I do want them to change the battery under warranty. And they were a little bit suspicious when I spoke to them on the phone about it. They said, well, you know, it's not an issue that they've had for many other e-Nero owners. It's not something they know about. So that's one of the reasons that something like this is really good. Because if you have something like this, you can show them the data and you can um, you can show them that if, if it's starting, if the voltage starts to drop really badly, if the charge starts to drop really badly over just the space of a few days, especially when it's okay weather because it's not freezing right now, then there's clearly something wrong with the battery or potentially something wrong with the car. Um, I have heard of other people having issues with the DC to DC converter. That's what when auxiliary battery saver kicks in. Uh, it's the DC to DC converter that gets the high powered uh, battery charge into your 12 volt starts charging it. Some people have had a problem with that as well. But anyway, this looks really good so far. So I hope you found this video useful. If you want to get this, then uh, you can from Amazon and I'll put the price on the screen. And um, if you like this video and would like to see more, then please subscribe and press the bell icon. Thanks a lot. I'll speak to you soon.